Now, to answer this question, what should we do as Christians? What do we have to do to make it in the rapture? How, how can we know that we're going to be raptured? Here's the answer. Nothing. If you're a Christian, nothing. Just live for God, live your life, and you're going to go up. There's not going to be two or three different loads uh, of the church that goes up. Now, there will be people who will be saved in the tribulation that will join us later. But if you're born again, if you're a Christian right now, here, here's the verse, and let me just read it out of the, the Bible. 1 Thessalonians 4, 14. It says, for if we believe that Jesus died and rose from the dead, if you believe that, God will bring with him those who sleep in Jesus. For we say this to you by the word of the Lord, that we who are alive and remain until the coming of the Lord will by no means precede those who are asleep. For the Lord himself will descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of an archangel and the trump of God. The dead in Christ will, be rise, will rise first, then we... Who's the we? We who believe that Jesus died and rose again. Do you believe that? Well, then we who are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And thus we shall always be with the Lord. So this we here is the same we who believe that Jesus Christ died and rose again and accepted him as Savior. Uh, that just means that the the rapture is for the church, not some of the church, not the good church, not, not the, you know, the happy church, just the church. Uh, that includes everyone who's born again. And I think it's important to make that clear. You know, it, it adds some uh, kind of some attraction maybe to make things mysterious and mystical. And, you know, you may not make it, you might be left behind if you don't do this or that. And, but really, um, the mystery of the gospel, the mystery of the church, those are really the two mysteries uh, that needed to be solved. And the first was the mystery of the gospel that Jesus Christ was going to come and die as a lamb slain from the foundation of the world. He was going to be buried and raised from the dead. That was a mystery and that was hidden. Then when that was revealed, another mystery was revealed and that is the mystery of the church, that the Gentiles should be fellow heirs with the Jews and become partakers of the blessings of Abraham. That was a mystery. But since those two mysteries have come to light, there's really not any important unanswered questions. In other words, when you accept what Jesus did and become part of the church, your future is secure. There's no mystery about it. We're not like the jury's not still out. It's over. And that's really what the Holy Spirit's come to do, the gospel wants to do, is answer these questions, settle the issue forever. And, and, it, and it's not, you know, some people are fine to, to believe that they're born again and when they die, they'll go to heaven. They believe that their covenant with God will get them to heaven if they die. But they, somehow, they don't think that same covenant will carry them through in times. Why would you even think that? The, the mysteries have been solved. Jesus came, had the rulers of this world known what he came to do, they wouldn't have crucified him. So it was a mystery. But once Jesus was raised from the dead and the gospel became clear and people accepted that gospel and received Jesus as Lord and became the church, which was also hidden, the, the, these other questions are answered permanently. You belong to Jesus He's not going to let you be abused by the Antichrist or he's not going to let you be abused by the plagues and the, and the tribulation period and the vials and the trumpets. That's not for the bride of Christ. He went to prepare a place for us. He said, don't let your heart be troubled. Neither let it be afraid. I went, I'm going to prepare a place. And if I went to prepare a place, I'm going to come and get you. And, and you're not going to be beat up, beat down, starved out, you know, tortured to receive the mark of the beast, threatened with your life, have your, you know, Jesus is coming back to get the church. Now, there will be things that will happen during the tribulation that are PG-13 or worse, uh, and we'll cover that. But I don't see the church as existing in the earth at that time. We are going to be raptured out. Now, you say, well, what if you're wrong? If I'm wrong, we're still going to be protected by the Lord. He's not going to turn us over to the Antichrist 
to, to, to be tortured for, for seven years. He's not going to turn us over to, you know, the world. We, we still have authority. We still have our covenant with God. We'll still fulfill our destiny. Uh, these things are very secure, very planned out. And the mysteries, if you're, if you're worried that you're not going to make the rapture, just, you can just relieve yourself of that fear right now. If you're, if we who believe that Jesus died and rose from the dead, we will be caught up together to meet the Lord in the air, period. And so your future is, is very secure. You know, it's all of these unknowns that exist between here and there that get people uh, upset, but we need to just trust the Lord to fill in the blanks. He's going to take care of us. Now